Hello, pilots of the internet. Welcome to Foldable Flight. My name is Kyle, and this is where I teach you how to fold paper airplanes that will blow your mind. Today's paper airplane is called Silex Drone for its weird faceted shape, and it kind of even flies in a weird way, sometimes even upside down. Let's check it out. Okay, taking a look here at the front of the plane, you can see that it's kind of got some unique wings, the way that they flank down below the plane. And it leads to some really crazy flights. Sometimes this plane will even flip over and fly upside down like this. Um, and so that's, that's a really cool attribute of it. Uh, the top is pretty large, which means that this plane has a really nice glide ratio as well. Today I will be folding it out of this red paper. This is Astro Bright's re-entry red. Um, and so this is what it'll look like if you fold it out of normal paper. But over here I have an example. If you support me on Patreon and download this template, when you fold this plane, it will look like this, which obviously just adds a lot to it. And over here you can see, I'll leave that throughout the video so you can just uh, admire that. So, without any further ado, let's begin. With uh, the beginning step in this plane, we're just going to fold it in half like so. And again, it's always important to make really precise creases, especially, especially on the first few steps like this, because if you make a mistake, it'll continue to get worse as you use the folds you make at the beginning of the plane as references later in the plane. Uh, any inaccuracy will just kind of get worse. So we'll open it back up and we're going to take this top edge and fold it to the left edge so our crease goes through this corner here. And then we'll open that back up and do the same thing on the other side. Then we will flip this over and fold this top portion down so that our crease goes through this intersection created by these two diagonal creases. And then we'll open it up and flip this back over. And you'll see the crease will kind of want to sit like this, and if you just press right in the middle of it, the edges will pop up. And then we can pull each side in like so, and collapse this top portion just by pushing it down. And this is called the water bomb base. It is used in many different paper airplanes. Several of my own designs use it. Um, and it's just a, a common starting point. So next, I'm gonna flip this to make this point down towards me. And I'm going to grab this top edge, and basically I want to take this portion of the top layer and fold it so it hits this side here. And that's a little bit tricky, but I'm going to open this whole pocket and pull it so it lands just like that. And I'm going to crease it only to the center crease. So you can see right here, I'm just going to crease right to there. And when I unfold it again, you'll be able to really see what I mean by that. So there you can see my crease just goes to this center point. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, just creasing to that center point. So if I unfold it, it'll look like this, but I actually, I want this section here to end up inside these other two layers. So I'm just gonna pull on it and then flatten this layer just like that. So our right flap has now moved to the left side. 
Then I'm going to open this right flat back up, but I'm folding on a different crease here. I'll go ahead and make the fold and then you can see exactly what I've done. I've opened using this as a hinge and now I've made a crease parallel to this edge, like so. I'm gonna close that back up and swing both layers over to the other side so I can repeat that step on my other side. Again, opening it using that hinge and making a crease parallel to this edge. So now I want to have both of those sides open at the same time, so I'll open one and then it's a little bit difficult, but just pulling using that existing crease, I'm gonna pull this side open as well. Gathering all these layers right here in the middle, like so, and I'll push this center collection of layers down to the left and then I will also push it down to the right adding creases on either side of that triangle. I'm gonna lay this down to the left and now I'm just taking this edge here to meet this edge here. And then I will fold this section back like so so that the crease I make is landing on top of this crease, and you'll see what I mean by that. I'm just looking at where that crease is, and I keep pulling the layers back until I'm landing my new crease right on top of that. And so now this center section should still be able to stand freely, and my layers on this side are folded like so. And I'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Here, let me actually fix this just slightly so that these can stand more freely once again. There we go. That's something you need to be careful of. You can see I just tore this slightly. That's not a big deal at all. But when you crease that section, be careful because corners like that do have a tendency to tear if you're not being delicate with them. And then I fold this back again, just looking for that crease. Like so. Now on either side, I'm going to fold so that this edge lands on this edge here and we're just making a triangle. And by doing that, we've kind of created two tabs. And what we wanna do with those tabs is we're going to be inserting them into, let me open these up, into the center of this front section. And so this is a little bit tricky. I'm going to start by curling both of them slightly because it's hard to get them to insert into that section without kind of preparing them in this manner. And one at a time, I'm just going to stick it in. And then it's right here at the front that's going to give you the most trouble. The layers will want to buckle rather than roll into that shape. And so you just need to keep your finger kind of prepared down there to ease it in right down at the bottom. And there we've created a nice locked fuselage that won't come unfolded at all. We are getting very close to being done now. I'm just kind of smoothing out my layers. And I'm going to take this edge now to this front edge. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to reverse both of those creases and flip the layer in under this top layer, like so. So you can see this side, the layer I just had is now behind this top layer and I'm gonna flip this one behind as well. Okay, 
Now I'm going to spin this around again, just because I prefer to handle this next step from this angle. And I'm gonna take this wing and I'm folding this outer edge into the center. And I'm gonna smooth this little section that's getting wrinkled. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Open those up, and now I'm going to take this outer edge and fold to the crease we just made. And I'll repeat that on the other side. And now you'll notice this top section, I want to actually uh, reverse this center crease so that it is a valley rather than a mountain and all I'm gonna do is fold along it you can see from the top what I'm doing here just along that existing crease so now it's forming a V there I want to orient these wings so there's a really shallow V on top and then the other sides angled down kinda like this and you can experiment with how you have these wings arranged and it will change the flight pattern of the plane um, and depending on how you folded the rest of the plane whether your folds are accurate and whatnot the ideal arrangement of these layers will actually be a little bit different but about like this is what you want you want to make sure each side is identical to the other side that's your biggest priority um, and then when you launch it give it a nice gentle launch it cannot handle um, maybe a medium hard throw, but if you throw it too hard, it's just gonna spiral out of control. Its large wings aren't really strong enough. So give it a nice gentle launch and it will glide exceptionally well for you. I hope you had fun folding it and I hope you have fun flying. Check out my website at foldableflight.com or my Patreon page at patreon.com foldableflight. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome paper airplane content.